just that that pre uh, that pre birth shit. Just gotta get that pre birth shit out real quick. Nice, this guy's on it. Nice job, dude. Wish that my freaking llama habitat keepers would do that. So I wish that you would just have to. What's going on? Did the Bengal tiger head offspring? You're telling me I'm sitting here watching you. Kocho just pooped out a baby. Nice. It's a male. Interesting. Okay, that was not worth the time. We've already seen enough of those. Uh, but these, we have not seen any of. So, Coach O. Possibly just had one baby. It had a freaking what? An albino? A white one? No way. What? It's so cute. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, you're about to climb, aren't you? Okay, let's watch it. Okay. Nice. Nice. What? Animal escaped. Oh, it's just goofing. It's just goofing. All right, back to the Bengal tiger, babies, cubs. Um, let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, very nice. So with this one, we'll just go. Uh, we'll go Joe O. And then this one will go Coach Burrow. I think she probably... Oh, is that... That's another one. Um, she had three. Let's make sure that... She had four. Okay, so there's another one somewhere. Wow, okay. So she had four <laughs> cubs. I thought there was only two. I was actually thinking there, there might end up only being one, but there are more. As you can see, I have not uh, covered this habitat yet, but that is because we are dead broke and I'm just like not gaining money. No idea why I'm not gaining money. Maybe I need to like charge more. I have added a lot of habitats and not really increased my prices, but the guests haven't been saying that it's, that I need to increase the prices. So I don't know. I guess I'll increase them and see what happens. Ostrich is about. This ostrich is just flying across the map. <laughs> okay, it stopped. It's gonna have um, offspring soon, so I kind of wanted to see that. Oh, and it would have just gotten trampled by that buffalo if that could actually happen. Wow, look at the mix. There's hay, but there's also a bunch of different stuff in there. That's pretty sweet. The inbreeding is getting out of control. Um, yeah, we'll just release you to the wild. Wait, how much could I sell you? I know we already saw it once, but like... <laughs> yeah, I can trade this thing for $5,000 and I'm going to do it. Because we need money. There are so many animals in here just like full on sprinting. Okay, this is going to be a collision here, but quick. I'm gonna look at the, the ostrich babies. Look at this warthog just flying over there. <laughs> okay, that one has really good genes. Really good genes and really good genes, nice. So the ostriches are are definitely giving us some good babies. Look at just like all, sorry, I'll get rid of these overlays and we'll just like watch these animals fly. Look at that warthog, and this one and that one, they just collided. Zebra calf, antelope. <laughs> oh no, what is flying up right here? <laughs> That's a gazelle just hauling ass. Oh, there goes an ostrich hauling ass. <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> uh, it's just so funny. They just like sprint around in this habitat, unlike any other habitat in the zoo for me. All right, we just had another African elephant baby. I gotta think of what to name this thing. Um, uh, I don't know. 
Maybe... Maybe like a Viking? Or should I like... Maybe I'll save like Viking names for a whole habitat. Um, hmm. Oh, I have to do something. I'll, with the Arctic Wolves, I'll do uh, Game of Thrones characters. But let's see. I'm trying to kind of keep this from like uh, early to middle age America names or like famous people. So I'm going to go with uh, Thomas Jefferson for this one. But I know there are a lot more um, people from that time period. I just can't really think of them. I, I know there's James Madison is one. So that'll be probably the next baby. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. Just like, uh, like I said, early to middle age America slash United States. I'm not even sure which one this is at this point. <laughs> uh, the Latifa is mating with Ducardi. Somehow this isn't incest. It's some. It's got to be close to incest, but it's not yet. Oh, we're gonna have some some major deaths soon. Kung Fu Kenny and Megan Thee Stallion are elderly. <laughs> it's not looking good. But honestly, we need some deaths in here because this place is getting so overpopulated, and we don't even have any guests in here. What? <laughs> what is going on? This place was popping for a second. Kung Fu Kenny. He didn't even get to release his next album yet. He left us waiting. Oh. That one hurts. That one hurts. I wonder... I should have checked to see how many kids he left us with. To see his legacy. I don't think I can now. But. Rip. Kung Fu Kenny. He's 24 years old. That's pretty solid. I don't think he had that many kids though. So. I don't know if that really matters to Llamas, but if it does, he didn't do so hot. I'm thinking next up, like I said, is going to be Megan the Stallion. And then that might that might be the last of the the OGs. Oh, Cardi. Cardi's in here. Nicki Minaj is in here, but she's pregnant. Also infertile and elderly. Uh, well, Kim, Snoop Dogg's still kicking. Queen Latifah. Okay, so we still got quite a bit of the OGs, I suppose. But they're all getting up there in age. Wow, a lot of pregnancies. It's going to start getting rough in there. The Indian elephants do some mating. Okay, he sniffed her ear. Oh, sheesh. I heard it. You heard it too. I know you heard that. Sheesh. All right, that's a pregnancy. Offspring due December year 28. Oh, December. I'm tripping. Uh, September. <laughs> so on the last episode, I built this area here, which this is um, some black bears. And then over here we have uh, the Chinese pangolin. I think is how you pronounce it. <laughs> and then a couple episodes before that, we built our Indian area. So we got like Indian rhinoceros and stuff over here. And I'm just going to finish up my uh, East Asian area is what I'm calling it. Uh, so today we'll, we will be building habitat for the pandas and for the Chinese, or not Chinese, I'm sorry, the Japanese monkeys. And they are Arctic. So it's going to be kind of an Arctic. We're going to have an Arctic thing here. I have to quit. I have to finish this terrain out and I'll have kind of an Arctic habitat right there. And then the pandas will be right in this, er this early area. So that is what is in store for today. But as you can see in the bottom left corner, I don't have any money. I have negative four grand about. So hopefully I can get the money right today. And then I can get that stuff building. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, that ostrich is so pretty. How good are your jeans? Oh, they're really good. Okay. Uh, I'll just send him to the storage. Um, there should be one more somewhere. Oh, this one? Yeah, nope. That's one of the new ones. Um, this one? Nope. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have to find... Oh, this one? Yep. They are really pretty with the black and white. I didn't realize that the parents were gonna create such, like, perfect babies. <laughs> That just looks so good, but I'm gonna have to get rid of all of them. 
because they are male. I don't, I don't really want the inbreeding. I don't want to, have to deal with the inbreeding and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them. But gosh, they are pretty. I've been just trading my animals for cash because I have quite a bit of conservation currency, and I have no cash. So <laughs> I guess that's what it's come down to. And I'm still not making money i went through and i got rid of every like extra um staff member that i could find all of the ones that weren't working well i got rid of all of them and i hired like only a couple i basically fired probably 15 staff members and hired like six more back so i've done i think all i really can other than raising the prices again which maybe i could do that i don't really know Let's, I'll just try it and see if like people get pissed, I guess. Hang on, wait, we'll just go look at some guest reviews <laughs> real quick. And then we'll see what they think. Uh, so they want to go on the suspended gondola. Uh, that's Thank you for telling me that you want to. Just do it and give me your money, please. Uh, scorching out here, yeah, that's true. You also want to go on the gondola. The zoo is great, you're damn right it is thirsty see they're, they're saying the ticket prices are good I'm thinking I can raise them maybe a little bit higher time to go home thanks uh, I can get to some interesting stuff if I take yeah that's true if you take the gondola you can get to some interesting stuff so just everybody please get on the gondola and give me money uh, this place has great scenery has some decent scenery now Nice, these ones weren't as bad, I, though I want to go on the gondola is kind of weird, but I'll take it, whatever. I, I am going to raise these ticket prices to like, we'll go 58 and see if people complain. Also, like, you can have different prices for child, children and adults, but uh, I don't. <laughs> I just simply do not because I don't think it really helps at all as far as I know anyway so I just like I said I just don't also this thing is just still backed up I don't really know what to do about it there's always people on all of them but I think it's because people aren't getting on from this side so it's not taking off but I'm not really for sure why it's happening I just assume that's something that's happening now we have fighting happening here an all-out brawl is he jumping and oh okay oh okay i kind of like this battle i don't really want them to get injured but also it's kind of cool not a bad animation uh but i'm gonna have to get rid of these see they're fighting but they're not even you guys don't even dislike each other do you you guys literally had babies together just chill out it's domestic violence stop fighting gosh Nikki had a baby with who was it with? It was with Dicardi. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so what do I even do? Um <laughs> All right. this is the incest baby. How how is your jeans, honey? Your jeans aren't bad. Not bad for being an incest baby. Should I just name it the incest? D the Yeah. The in I'm just gonna go with the incest baby. All one word, all one name. The incest baby. Parents, Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj. Wow, some OGs. Nicki Dog or Nick Dog. It's a male. We go Nick Dog, or we could go Snoop Minaj. No, nah, definitely Nick Dog. Nick D O G G. Before I get to building the two new habitats in the uh, episode where I built the Indian habitat, I actually kind of promised that I was going to uh, fill the rest of this out with some more nature. I still have maybe some more plants I could add on the ground, but I also don't want to clutter it too much. But I think my plant coverage is way higher than it was. If I can find a tiger, here's one. Um, I just want to see, yeah, my coverage is now at 46%, whereas it was at about 25%. So I filled this out a lot more now. 
But I honestly think, and maybe maybe you guys don't think the same thing, but <laughs> I feel like if I were to fill this out more, it would just be way too crowded in there. So I think this is about all I'm going to do. I, like I said, I might add a couple more ground plants, but even at that, I have a lot of stuff in there. This over here is maybe a little bit bare, but also that's kind of the viewing area, and I don't want to clutter that viewing area up too much. So yeah, anyway, I added a lot of trees. I mean, I added probably about eight trees eight to ten different trees and maybe i don't know 15 different ground plants and some more rocks and things so i did fill this out just wanted to show you guys kind of the finished looking product it looks pretty solid i think i maybe a little bit more terrain would make it better but all in all that's pretty solid now i'm going to actually get to the building of the two new habitats so i have to terrain all this out so i'll come back when uh that is filled out the rest of the way okay so i think i have this terrained out kind of how i want it it might be a little bit too large i'm gonna mess around with the sizes i have to go look at the pandas real quick and just see uh what they require here i think they're gonna be a lot yeah so up to 10 pandas and it looks like uh the beginning amount of land will be ten thousand about so It'll probably be upwards around 20,000 is what I will need if it's full of pandas and babies. I need grade four climb proof. Okay, so I got to try to make it about 25,000 so that way I have room to put some scenery in. And then uh, as far as the barrier goes, I'm thinking I'll probably just go with concrete. I used, I'll use concrete and glass just like I did with the, um, with the bears over here. This is kind of going to be a crappy spot <laughs> because everybody's going to get clogged up on the stairs this is really the only spot i can make this work maybe i can move it over just a touch gonna be super difficult to build in uh but that's kind of what i got going so far let me see real quick what uh it looks like once i put in the um the little habitat gate okay twenty three thousand. that's about what i was aiming for like i said I, these corners are gonna be kind of difficult to work around but i'll make it i'll make it happen and then that way hopefully we don't get too much scenery uh, stoppage happening up here and then what I'm going to do real quick is just add this and then drop it down so this will just be a whole viewpoint right here and bang okay so perfect we got a viewpoint there and then I'm going to turn this stuff to glass so that will be that will be thick glass. This will be. This will be. So that way, this is also a viewpoint. That's why I widened it right here. And then as it goes around this corner, this corner, this is going to end up being a whole wall. Like this wall here is, I'm going to extend. It's going to loop around. And then this path will follow that loop all the way back to that little point there. Okay, so the habitat for the Japanese... I don't know how to pronounce this. Akake? That just sounds sexual. <laughs> but I guess for the Japanese makake, I just feel like an idiot saying that. Uh, 8 to 50 we can have in there. So 3,000 land requirement, but I bet that that ends up being more around 25,000. And then climbing requirement has to be high too. Uh... No, I, I was going to look it up, but I'm not going to. But I can make it so it's just grade one. So I can use any barrier I want as long as I can make it climb proof. I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, I guess that means that I could use just wood. That's just grade three. This is climbable. I wonder if it's... Uh, can you change the hedges to be not climbable? Yeah, I was going to say that doesn't make sense, or that wouldn't make sense. But yeah, so you can't change those. 
and there's nothing else that's really grade one. I mean, I could use chain link, but that's climbable too. Oh, but you can make chain link climb proof. I wonder what it looks like. How bad does chain link look? It looks pretty bad. What does it look like when I make it climb proof? Let's just do both. Okay, so it just adds a metal piece at the top there. That doesn't really seem like it makes it completely climb proof. But apparently it does. I haven't ever done chain link, but that's just because I don't like how it looks. I don't at all like how chain link looks. And the steel mesh is essentially the same thing. Ah, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go with wood and thick glass. I mean, that just looks the best. It's kind of what we've been doing across the whole zoo. So why not just stick with it, I suppose. I just wish I could make the wood curved. It bothers me that I can't. We'll see how that turns out, I suppose. What do we got here for terrain? 28,000 still. It's still quite a bit. I think I was thinking 30,000 was what I wanted, though. It's not bad, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, that works. We'll just stick... We'll do that. And remember, I also still have to finish up this uh, little section. Because I'm going to make this look better. Because, as you can see, it just looks like garbage. Because it's all run together and looks nasty and i promised on the last episode i'd fix it up make it look better than that at least and then i'm gonna make this like an arctic area so that way it bleeds into this arctic area a little bit and then probably like this corner of the panda habitat will also be arctic so that's how it's all gonna blend together i'll just come back when i'm done building all of this so that and then i'll show you around show you everything that i did and then that'll probably be the end of the episode all right so i have finished up all of the habitats that I said I was going to work on. So we'll start with the one that I made last episode. I added a shitload of trees to it. Uh, I don't know how much I've really shown off these bears. So I'll just kind of like, we'll walk through the habitat here until we find some. Okay, we got one boy here. Curl, sorry. Um... They're pretty cool. I mean, they're just like regular bears, really, but... Animal has escaped. Uh, what do you think it is? What do you think has escaped? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I probably should have... Yeah, that's my bad. He was trying to jump off the cliff into the great unknown. Okay, he interrupted our little... A little shindig over here too but you, you guys got to see the bear for a quick sec this is everything that i did to it i just added a bunch of trees and bushes and such like that and then i added the snow at the end of it like i said i was going to and then uh let's see i'll see what's going on here i don't really know why he was able to escape like that so it's showing it on the back end here. I wonder why though. Or is it around the whole, okay, it's around the whole thing. Oh, I wonder if it's because they can climb up the side of that there. Yeah, that looks like it's traversable. All right, so it's saying climbable escape point. Yeah, it's all climbable. I wonder if it's just the, the walls. Did I forget to make these walls not climbable? Is that, is that it? Am I just an idiot? Yeah, yeah, that's, that would be it. That would be the issue. <laughs> nice, okay. All right, problem solved. Just like that. I had to spend a thousand dollars to catch this guy, but we're good. All right, so anyway, this is, <laughs> this is the uh, Japanese monkey habitat. They're pretty sweet, I mean, like their, uh, their climbing ability is awesome. That's probably the best part about them. They're all really small, but I think, you know, I showed that we can have up to 50 in here. So that just means, oh, that guy grabbed him over there. That just means that we can uh, really fill this whole area out and make it look really cool because there'll be monkeys just jumping everywhere in here. But for now, we only have about five monkeys in there. I didn't quite have enough for what I wanted to do. So 
Now moving on to the pandas. It says that they have low welfare. I don't really know why. Social, not enough space. I swore when I built this, didn't it say like, I, I'll have to go back and look at it, but I'm pretty sure it said like 20 something thousand, did it not? Did I really turn this into less? I don't, I don't know what happened. Now it's only saying we have 11,000 land area. Hmm. I might just have to expand it over here like I didn't want to do. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to. But anyway, I'll I'll save that for another day. I'm going to do like a couple episodes, I think, probably like two or three throughout the series where I just go, like I show myself fixing all the habitats that aren't like fixed. Yeah, I showed you guys me fixing some stuff today, but there will be a lot more like a lot there's a lot more habitats that have issues or don't have enough like coverage that i just want to kind of fill out more stuff like that i just didn't ha really have enough money when i built them at the time so i'm gonna go back and kind of fix all the habitats up just a little bit like I'm, I'm only gonna fix them up i'm not really gonna like change them a ton or anything i might make some that like some more natural like um shelters i guess uh because like with some of them i have those rock shelters but with a lot of them i didn't really set it up that way so i might fix it that way but i don't know there's a lot of different things i can do with the habitats and this one i'm gonna have to fix more quickly so i, I might just show that on the next episode and then maybe do some more fixes on the next episode but this episode doesn't really have enough time for me to go through and fix it and everything but i mean my plan will be to probably just expand out to here like we like i didn't really want to do originally but i mean I don't want to extend this uh, any further out because my plan is to make this actually drop off and then like kind of be like a cliff and then I'll have stairs going down obviously and then uh, that'll be kind of like a terrace that comes this way and then eventually hopefully the terrain will meet up level with this terrain so that way I can just kind of I'll it'll be kind of like steps going down 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 and then meeting level with this terrain. But anyway, I'll uh, we'll just look at some of these guys real quick. I'll make sure nothing else is going on in the zoo. Everything looks fine. We're about to have some uh, babies, but to maybe lions. But we'll just look at these guys for a sec. They look pretty good. They kind of look almost too fluffy. I can't say I've ever seen a panda in real life, so I don't know exactly what they look like. But they look. A little bit too fluffy for for my liking but, but anyway they're still pretty cute and oh i'm sorry for that zoom uh this is awesome <laughs> look at how high he is up in this tree that is one of the coolest things i know that's something super realistic the the pandas or pandas in real life they climb trees really high yeah, they even, I think, climb, like, bamboo trees that high and just, like, hang out on bamboo trees. I mean, like, this is bamboo right here. So, but, yeah, I mean, look at that guy's climbing in it, too. So, we got two pandas just chilling up in the trees. That is awesome. I love that. I wonder... Oh, okay, so the other panda's just over here. I wonder if that's, like, the only tree that I have in here that they'll climb or if they'll climb the rest of this. We'll see how it all works out. Uh, there can also be, I think, seven more pandas in there, so I'll probably grab some more at some point soon. So I'll look it up, and I'll see if these trees are the only trees that they'll climb, or I'll try to figure out, like, all the different trees that they do climb. And then I'll, uh, when I expand it, I'll add the extra bit of trees. But that is going to do it for this episode. I just don't have enough time to do more. Oop, that was a little bit glitchy. Uh, but I'll, I mean, I'll jump into a little bit more of this in the next episode and then I'll jump over to what I'm going to be doing next and that is actually going to be a uh, desert so there's two like de really desert desert animals the camel and one more the gemsbach I want to call it and it's basically like a deer uh so those are going to be the two that I'm doing next I'm going to put them over by the African safari area and then that will be it for the desert area and then i'll be jumping into the african jungle after that and then so on and so forth but yeah so look out for uh the next episode which will be like i said the uh african desert area and actually camels aren't even really african they're more like 
like the Middle East uh, and also kind of across Asia a little bit. But I'm still gonna put them over by Africa because I just want a desert area. If you like this video, please give me a like. That would be so awesome. And please share it with your friends and family. That is the most helpful thing that you can do for us. Uh, the more views we get, the more quality views we get, the better it is. So please do that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. We have three different members other than myself. They all put out different types of content. You might like some of the content that they put out. So please go check that out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, so I looked it up and I now know that it is macaques. <laughs> And I just can't believe I was calling them macaques the whole time. It's the dumbest thing in the world. So uh, please roast me in the comments. <laughs>